All right, what is up everyone? Little Reaper is finally here. In this video, I'm gonna give you a tour of the new badass Little Reaper. Let's check it out. All right team, so the new boat, it's a 2005 Contender 23 Tournament. Uh, they actually still make this boat today. It's now called the 25 Tournament or the 25T. So this boat actually has a length overall of about 25.6, I believe. Uh, right around up here, I'm gonna put the full specs. Pretty sure it holds 175 gallons of fuel. Um, the plan with this sucker is it's going to be my boat from the back bays all the way out to mid shore bluefin. And on those picture perfect beautiful days, guys, I might even be out in the canyons as that little annoying center console guy uh, with diesel hitting probably 10 bucks a gallon here um, by summer at the marinas. I think I'm going to be using this sucker a little bit more. So let's go check it out. We're going to start at the bow. We'll work our way back. But I'm super excited. All right, team. So starting up at the bow, um, the first of my modifications. And I'll also go through this, guys. I built the boat in Florida. It was down in Fort Lauderdale. I believe the last couple seasons it was kept indoors. The gentleman had passed away, and the wife had kind of kept it indoors. So it jumped up on the market. It was what I really had wanted. I wanted something kind of semi-custom, a contender, a competition. Somewhere along those lines, it popped up, and I, I went ahead and I just bought it sight unseen. I flew down, looked at it just to be sure. Um, so I trusted the survey um, and the broker, and it, it turned out okay. So anyway. So the first modification I made to the boat is I put on the Minn Kota Tarova. This is the 87 inch, 112 pound thrust, 36 volt. Um, I bought it as a package lightly used. Came with the troll motor, three dedicated batteries, uh, an actual charger for those batteries, and then also Minn Kota's inverter charger. So when I'm running, the motors will actually charge up the troll motor battery. So uh, we shouldn't run out. And then a lot of zoom in here, I wanna show everybody just kind of real quick what I did. The guy that I bought it from had made a, a custom aluminum backing plate. So, and you can see there's a bow light up here. So there's a pop-up bow light. And I really didn't want to have to remove that, so I kind of put it on an angle. Um, so it'll have a stabilizer here. And then, uh, so this is the anchor locker. Um, it's got a little holder here, you can put your anchor. Should have storage for plenty of line. And then what I did was I made a, a custom removable plug for the trolling motor, and I'll show you guys that in action. So, yeah, starting up at the bow, we got the troll motor, pop up, you know, navigation lights. Again, I'll put a stabilizer here, all right? Um, now, the seats. There's not very many contenders out there I know of or that I saw that have these pop-up seats. I haven't decided if I like them yet or not. Alana seems to like them. Uh, but, yeah, you can see, I mean, basically they just kind of pop up and there's two supports. Um, and it actually has a backrest on there, I'll show you at some point. Um, but then what's kind of neat is, you know, they pull it away and they don't really get too much in your, in your fishing way. So you can still kind of fish right here and jig or fight a tuna. So we'll leave them for now, we'll see, all right? They're staying, <laughs> absolutely. Here, we've got a couple JL Audio speakers for rocking out, all right? It came with this little cooler and that kind of acts as a seat. You can lean up against this pad. I'll probably end up making a, you know, a little seat a little bit bigger. I'll get a bigger cooler and I'll get, you know, brackets for the bottom so it won't slide around. All right, but for now that'll work. Let's move that out of the way. And then I'll show you the fish box. This is one of the things I really loved about this boat is, guys, look at the size of this fish box. All right. I mean, look at the size of that thing. Check that out, huh? Yeah. I mean, I can go ahead and... You could like... <laughs> I mean, I could actually... <laughs> you could actually stuff me in there, so... I could, yeah, I will stuff <laughs> you in there. So, um, should hold, God, three, four hundred pounds of ice and uh, plenty of yellowfin and bluefin tuna. So this is one of the other things I really liked about this boat. So, plenty of fish storage there. Two more storage things right here. Probably end up putting, you know, flats of bait in there, things like that. I won't open it, but... You get the drift. All right, now, Alana, come on around here. Moving aft, so this pops open, and then you have access to all your electronics. All right? So what you can see is these are the three dedicated batteries just for the trolling motor, and then those two are the house batteries just for starting. And then back there, so that charger back there is actually will charge all five batteries. And then this one here just charges the two 
I believe just the two house batteries. And then back in that corner there, that's the Minn Kota alternator charger. And then you can see it's actually wired. The wiring's pretty clean. You have dual battery switches. See dual battery switches there. And again, you can see the wiring is actually, it's actually pretty clean. Someone did a pretty decent job back there. And then on both sides, you've got several rod holders come up this way. Same thing there. Underneath, there's more speakers on both sides. All right. Here at the helm, kind of the brains of the operation. So you've got a single Garmin 7612 XSV. This is actually my first touchscreen ever. I've never owned a touchscreen, so we'll see how I like that. It's got a Fusion. It's called an MSRA205. But I'm actually going to replace this with a brand new Bluetooth one. And then the other modification I'm going to do is I'm going to change out this Icom M412. I have a custom one. Well, not a custom one. I have a, a new one that's programmed with our, our waterproof um, channel, so I can talk to just other waterproof members, and I'll tell you guys later kind of what, what that means. But, uh, but yeah, Garmin 7612, it's got radar, um, it's got a really good chart plotter, um, already built in uh, blue G2 charts, I believe, um, and I'll show you the, the transducer is actually pretty good. Then you've got the new, got your two Suzuki gauges here. You've got a Garmin autopilot. Mm -hmm. All right, oh, we got our new fly-by-wire Suzuki controls. So you've got a footrest there that can actually fold up out of the way if you want to go ahead and stand, or you can go ahead and sit here. I would imagine on long runs, I'll probably have my feet up with the autopilot on. It's actually fairly comfortable, so super pumped on that. Continuing with the helm, We've got a little rocket launcher here with four rod holders. And then underneath it, this is one of the other things. This is a custom aftermarket uh, that the gentleman had installed. So there's nice fishing storage in there. See plier holders, knife holders, a bunch of Plano boxes. So I'll get that, uh, I'll decide what I want to put in here. You know, more slide out storage in there, weights and what have you. So that I really, really liked. Back at the gunnel, you've got two more speakers. Back here in the aft gunnel. Right here, you've got a nice big live well. Come on, show them that, huh? Mm-hmm. All right. And then back here kind of acts as a as a seat too. Um, I definitely did not want an in-deck live well. This was kind of a deal breaker. Um, I've had in-deck live wells before. Every time you want to go get a new bait, you've got to you know bend down get down there open up the hatch it's just annoying and it's just more laborious for your back you already you already come in sore so this was really important to me we do a good amount of live bait fishing when we're tuna fishing um, and then here hon show them there's there's two more storage things on each side much like this mm -hmm. so those are nice you know if I'm fluke fishing or sea bass fishing I don't have to put them in the main hold I can actually just throw them right in there um, this is the access to the bilge so there's the the Airmar B164 through hull transducer. You've got the fuel water separators in there. And then I have to just kind of change out one of the uh, bilge pumps and I got to put in all new float switches. So um, it's been a little bit of a project. And then I'll show you guys the T-top. It's not a hard top, but it's it's got some beef to it. Um, it's got the Kingfish rod holders out to the side, more rod holders up top, LED lights by Lumatech. There's, I believe, some more LED lights up there underneath the gunnel where Alana is. So let me just kind of show you. Let me just do like a quick little walkthrough. So you can see, guys, it's pretty much 360 degree fishability. I mean, all the way around. And then the brand new twin Suzuki four stroke 200 horsepowers. Let's go check them out. Moving aft again, back here is our, our raw water wash down. All right, so that'll be our salt water wash down pump. We've got a nice door for bringing in tuna. And then we've got a, a nice little step ladder there for if you're just kind of chilling at the, at the sandbar or whatever. You can see I'm still 
Still in the midst of bottom painting. So when I bought the boat, it came with a, an original 2005 single uh, 250 Yamaha four-stroke. It actually had really low hours. It was only like 400 hours the boat was so lightly used. Um, it pushed the boat, I think, a little above 30, uh, but I really wanted to go fast in this boat. That's kind of the goal of this thing, is I really want to be able to run and gun when the bluefin are up north. I want to be able to fly there at 40 knots and uh, jig a couple bluefin up, come home, and be at the beach by noon, something like that. So. Um, yeah, twin, brand new, 200 horsepower Suzuki's. Um, the guys at Outboard Specialties did awesome. When I bought the boat, um, the broker had recommended Outboard Specialties. I called them. They said, hey, Chris, you know, end, end of March, I'll get you two brand new motors. And they were only about two weeks off. And if you know anything about the boating industry right now, it's impossible to get motors. Um, they knocked out the, the repower in just a couple of days. They did a sea trial for me. Um, at sea trial, it clocked out a little above 50 miles per hour, um, but he also had propped it so that we have a little more hole shot. Just if it's a little bit rough, we kind of have a little more to stay up on plane. Uh, I'm sure if I change the props, I can probably get it closer to 52 to 55. This thing will fly. There they are, baby. Twin 200. I love that I was able to get the black Suzuki's. Super excited. 24 and a half degree dead rise. You can kind of see that there got trim tabs they may need to be changed at some point and then the last thing I want to show you is this is a little freshwater shower that's kind of neat <laughs> yeah it's a little freshwater shower yeah and the last piece of the puzzle is a brand new easy loader trailer it's a long story but in the process of getting it from Florida up to New Jersey we had a little pit stop in South Carolina and we bought a brand new trailer so, <laughs> there it is we got a brand new easy loader trailer um, it's dual axle. I'm not a real trailer guy. I'll probably use it once a year to put it in and out of the water. That's about it. Um, but that being said, if those fish are up north like they were last year, those big giants in close, now I can get up there. So. Team, so there you go. There's the new little Reaper. Um, I'm getting the name put on the side. It was actually supposed to be done today, but it's, it's misty. Um, I've only had the boat with me about a week now, so I've been kind of on overtime trying to get it ready. Uh, we are in the midst of this gnarly nor'easter. It's middle of May. Today's the 12th. We're on our sixth day of rain, overcast, hard northeast winds. Uh, the other day we hit 65 to 70 mile an hour. I almost lost a big boat. I'm uh, This gentleman on Facebook got a hold of me and man, thank you so much, dude. You saved my boat. Um, we were just about to probably have catastrophic damage, but... Uh, it's been tough. I, I, I'm not rushing to get the thing in the water because the, the weather's just unreal. Uh, I'm going to finish bottom painting today, get the name put on. i got to change out those bilge pumps. We should splash early next week, and then I'm going to take you guys on our initial sea trial. We've got to break in the motors, and uh, once we get that done, then we'll kind of do some, some speed checks, and uh, sea bass opens up the 17th, so that might just be the first, first fishing run. Um, I have not been out for fluke. I haven't fished in New Jersey since first week of April for winter flounder. It's been a really terrible, terrible spring and uh, I can't really catch a break with either boat. This was a, a you know what getting up here but uh, anyway enough yapping. I'll see y'all. Hit that like button, subscribe, ding that silly bell. I'll see you on the tuna grounds. All right, everybody as you can see the desk uh, behind me is a total mess. Uh, it's been a whirlwind spring but to end out the video I just wanted to send out a couple of special thanks. So Peter Hodge at Safely Moored Yacht Sales. Peter, thanks for everything, man. I can't thank you enough. He was nice enough to let me just leave the boat down there in his driveway. Um, he helped arrange get new tires on the trailer. He was able to drive the trailer over to Outboard Specialties for me. Um, just really went above and beyond what a normal purchase of a boat should be for a broker. Um, really, I just can't thank you enough, man. Thank you so much. And uh, yeah, hopefully you get on those tile fish down there, uh, kind of like we get up here in New Jersey. Another special thanks to Trent. Trent, I'm not sure how you say your name, Boer, Boer, um, over at Outboard Specialties. He was able to really kind of be the quarterback for me over there and get me set up with the brand new twin Suzuki's. Um, he kept me posted throughout the process and then, um, you know, really kind of kept me posted on the uh, on the um, uh, sea trial as well. So thanks again, Trent. Really can't thank you enough. And everybody that helped at Outboard Specialties, thank you. Um, who else? I also got to thank the guys and girls at Enterprise Marine. Um, uh, you know, they did a good job. We hit a lot of snags getting the boat up here. 
Uh, but I thought they did a great job just dealing with what was thrown at them. Uh, my driver was awesome. And, um, yeah, just thank you so much, guys, at Enterprise um, Marine and RV, I believe it's called. Uh, uh, one last person, too. So Austin at Bubba's Marine in Jupiter, Florida. Austin, thanks so much, man. So far, the troll motor is working out great. Basically, what had happened was um, for a brief time, he had a couple brand-new 87-inch Minn Kotas. I had contacted him. He said, hey, I'm out. You know, I might get another one. And then he called me the next day and said, listen, this guy's got a brand, you know, basically an eight-month-old Minn Kota 87 and he's looking to sell it as a package. So I bought that from um, the gentleman. So again, it's the 87 inch Minn Kota, three dedicated batteries, another you know dedicated battery charger, and then the inverter charger. So Austin did all the install, ran the wires. The only thing I really had to do was just mount the plate and pop on the, um, the trolling motor. So thanks again, Austin, uh, really appreciate it. Everybody down in Florida, y'all were great. Um, oh, also one last person, Chris at 411 Marine. Almost forgot you. Sorry, Chris. So in a pinch, basically what happened, guys, was um, the boat, the trailer made it about as far as Georgia. Um, he blew out a bearing, and then what happened was, unfortunately, the tire went sideways and actually bent the axle. Um, he was able to get it um, up to South Carolina, where I basically just kind of hunted down a brand-new trailer. And uh, Chris at 401 Marine, thank you so much. He was able to just kind of put the boat from the old trailer onto the new and uh, we got it up here successfully. So yeah, super pumped. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed that uh, brief tour. I'll get a little more into it once we uh, splash. Super pumped.